Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the file and folder structure of Angular projects. So I actually divide the file and folder structure in the two parts, one for the beginners. If you are a beginners in the Angular or you are a fresher in the front end development, then you just need to focus on these points, right? And uh, if you have the basic idea about the Angular and front end, then you can just go with these file also, right? Uh, yes, we will cover the both of things, these folder and file structure as well as these also. But mainly if you are a fresher, then you have to focus on these parts. Uh, at the fresher levels, we, we are not going to change these kind of things. But still, we will discuss these things also, right? So now let's get in start. First file is package.json file. So you will file it, find it on your root folder here, right? So this is the first file when you are, you are creating your project. The first file which is created for your project is package.json file, right? And what it have? It have your application name, its version and scripts like uh, there is a lots of script but uh, one script that we regularly use which is ng-sir, right? Um, then uh, we have the dependencies and the dev dependencies, right? Dependencies the core package which is used by the Angular and uh, the dev dependencies simply means the these files have some uh, these packages have some dependencies uh, and they are uh, just mentioned here right so let's just go for the second one file which is a folder which is module node modules right keep in mind that you never to need to write any kind of code any file in this folder because when any other developer will just use your code and it will use the npm install your code will be deleted that's why you have to write your code anywhere in your component anywhere in your file and folder but never ever write code in the node underscore module right then we are just uh, go for the src folder here you will find and uh, you can see that 95% uh, of our work which is related to the development is done inside the src folders some other work like configurations and uh, you can see that and some installation and end-to-end -end testings are just outside this folder otherwise 95 percent work which is related to the development should be inside right then here we will just go in, going to look out the environments folder it have you will find there two files environment fi uh, folder is basically used uh, when you just want to define some different different configuration on different environments so what is the environment means so when you are developing your application then it, this is the development environment when you are testing your application then it, this is the testing environment and when you, when you just make your website live then basically this is the production environment right and why we need to have uh, put the different configuration for the different environments the reason is let's say you are developing something then uh, it will be on the development server and the some api urls and some constants and some variables can be different right that's why we will just make the different different files for different different environments right so for example uh, your website name is google.com right and when you are just making it a, a development then you just want to use the for the api url dev dot google.com right and when you just are testing your website then you just write the make a url for testing.google.com and when you are just uh, making it live then you will use this one so these kind of things we can put the in the environment files right we will make the three environment files for uh, production which is product pro.ts then we can make the dev then we can make the test and we can put the different different configurations in different different files right so we will learn more about these files in the upcoming videos right so now the next thing is assets so when you just want to some uh, add some extra things like fonts images and extra css or extra css from any library then you can put these things inside here right and now very important file which is index.html so this is the first file which is loading in your project when you are uh, run it on the browser which is the index.html and when you open it you will find your title name and some html part and here you will find your app.root right this is i will tell you what is this in just a moment but uh, 
as I told you which is this is a first file and if you just write here something like here then it will always be visible so keep in mind that you never to write any kind of code here you can just change your title and if you just want to put some favicon icon and all then you can just write it here right otherwise here you don't need to write any kind of code in this file then main.js file actually main.js file will make a bridge between your uh, angular code and your index.html file it will load your all js files inside the index.html and let's open it and let's see what it is that here you will see that it will ask for the modes then it have uh, load some platforms environments and app, uh, app modules so it have the all uh, major stuff imported and uh, it will just load it here right and it will just bootstrap your application with the html file great and uh, after that which is style.css let's say you just want to make some by default style or global style then you can write it here right and if you just want to make a style for a specific code then you will you can write the style inside spe specifically in the components and i will show you this file also now which is a very major file which is folder which is app so when you just open it you will find there which is the app.module.ts file right so and it have the module it have the component and it have the route and when you just open the index.html you will find the app route that simply means it load uh, this component in your application if you just remove it then there is nothing to load from this file right this app is actually defining app underscore root okay after that uh, now you can you may be confused what is the module and what is the uh, components so in the detail we will learn in the upcoming videos but uh, for few words you can say that uh, components are the very small functionalities and modules are basically the collection of your components right for example let's say you just want to make a complete functionality for the users then users is basically your module and uh, user login is uh, one of the component user sign up is the another component user profile user setting user password are the different different components here you can see that uh, the users is a module and the collection of component which is user sign up user login user profile user setting user change password and all the components perfect so these are the things that we need to understand at the fresher levels and you actually must need the, uh, to know these files right and these are some extra files so now let's look into it also first thing is editor.configuration so basically uh, you will find this file also on the root here but the major thing is that to uh, making the editor uh, configuration right so if you are using the sublime or uh, you are using uh, visual studio atom notepad plus plus then you can just make a common configurations like uh, character set what should be character set you use and the uh, intent style intent size and these kind of things right how much you uh, white space want or not and uh, next line and all right so basically this is uh, only for when you have the advanced level or you have expertise in uh, angular and all then you can just use right uh, then karma.configuration this file basically basically maintains the log for uh, package.json and it have the old version controlling and dependencies and dev dependencies all everything inside the log.json right now let's uh, eslinter is basically configuration for your uh, eslinting which is help you to write the better code it will just tell you that where you have to use the const where you have to use the let war function kind of things right and uh, if you did not use uh, the variable which is defined and it will tell that you should have to remove it and all typescript files basically use for typescript typescript configurations and e2 e folder is basically uh, used for the end to end configurations proctor.config file using for configuration of the testing purpose and this is the typescript configuration inside end to end right so these are the things that you need to know at the fresher level for uh, uh, and intermediate level on uh, angular file and folder structure if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video